What's up guys, welcome to another video. Uh, we're gonna be using ArchFi to install Arch. Uh, the reason why we're using ArchFi is to make it simple and easy for everybody. And first thing you need to do is type in the word curl. Ooh, uh, dash L. And then we're gonna type in ArchFi, uh, .sf, and .net. Yeah, that's correct. So slash ArchFi and ArchFi. Doing this, we'll download the script and you, you SH in and do SH ArchFi. So you're gonna set your language. This is very important. Your keyboard layout is also uh, very, very, very important. And you're gonna select your editor. I'm gonna use Nano. Your disk partition, I, I always use EFI, so GPT EFI. Uh, it matters, and we're using an NVMe, so AS. We're actually going to do this pretty quick. Next, you're going to select your partition. So this is going to be your boot. This is going to be your swap. This is going to be your root. And there's not going to be any home. All right. I don't ever like using home to home, you know, folders. Like in your root, you will have a home folder when your user account is created. I go with that. I don't like backing things up in my home folder. I have everything on a separate drive. So I usually just do that. And you're going to want to format the device real quick. So the EFI is going to be FAT32, swap is obviously going to be swap, and here's where it gets good. You can either use BTRFS or EXT4. One of these two is good enough for you, okay? I'm going to choose EXT4, that's what most people will go with. And another Honda, I hate Hondas. We're going to add the mirror list, so that all looks good to go. And we're going to install Arch, and it should be fairly quick. We're going to select those tools right there, and there it goes. So this might not go this quick for you. I have 5 gig up, 5 gig down net, so it's super quick, super fast. It's going to download the latest uh, Arch kernel, which is great, which is 5.8, 5.3 as of making this video. It might be newer for you sometime down the road. Who really knows? All right, on to the next thing. We're going to configure Arch. So set your computer name. It's up to you what you set it as. Uh, you're going to set your keyboard layout, US. You're going to set your locale. And make sure you get as close as you can. I'm going to select EN underscore US. Okay. And next, I'm going to set my time. So we're going to go to Canada, Atlantic, done. And I'm going to set local. Next, I'm going to set the root password, so boom, boom, done. Uh, generate FS tab, we're going to use UUID. All right, and after that, you know, we can generate this little module in case you're using NVMe. Uh, it's up to you. I've never really had to do this, but if it recommends doing something, you may as well do it. Next, we're going to choose our bootloader, and we're going to use Grub for this video. If you want a custom kernel, always use Grub anyway, right? I always recommend using a custom kernel anyway. Uh, that all installed, so we're going to install this. EFI. No errors reported. It's done. Great. There we go. Next, we're going to go to the extras and install all of that. Done. And we're going to do this. We're going to go as in-depth with this as we possibly can. So let's do that. So now that it's finished, downloading the package is required. First off, we're going to go to updates. I always thought this was update your Arch distro, but then no, 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 I actually went in there. Uh, first thing we're going to install is Pac-Man Contrib. Uh, that helps in the second video that's going to come with this. I am going to install Yay, and I'm just going to hit enter. because That's going to install base devil. You want everything that comes with that. That way you won't have any issues when compiling anything from the AUR. And new password, new password successful. We're going to hit yes. It's going to install Go. Go is about, you know, a couple hundred megabytes or so. Once Go is done, we're going to continue on. It's going to download more stuff, compile some stuff, do a bunch of stuff. No need to worry about what's actually going on. All right, now that Yay is installed, what we're going to do is we're going to install downgrade now let me explain downgrade real quick okay this allows you to download your mesa your nvidia your kernel whatever it is if it's causing a problem 
downgrade, all right? Go back to the version before, and it will actually be a lot better. Now, to ensure that we have no key ring issues, which there's been a lot of lately, we're going to actually refresh our keys. Then we're going to click this button. It should go through, refresh all 120 keys. Uh, after that, we should be good to go. And that's it. Now we're going to go to install. Um, we're going to go to xorg. This is where you're going to install your drivers, okay? But before we do that, we have to go back. We're going to go to updates. I'm going to edit the Pac-Man conf. All right, we're going to go all the way down. And what we're going to do is enable the multi-lib repository. Uh, there's something from here that is needed to make Steam work. So I'd figure, why not, right? And let's just run this for the hell of it. And we're going to run the upgrade for the hell of it. And that should be good to go. So I said, Xorg, you're going to want to go to your video drivers. If you're NVIDIA, choose proprietary. Click this button. If you're going to be using a custom kernel, click this button. Hit enter. I always suggest using DKMS over anything else uh, because it allows you to make a lot more choices about your distro. Okay. So this is actually going to take just a bit of time. Well, there we go. Uh, we're missing kernel headers, but you won't be missing kernel headers. You don't have to worry about that. All right, so next we're going to go up to open source just to show you what's in here. So there's a lot of stuff in here, as you can see, and we don't need any of it. So don't bother with it. I'm just saying there's other open source alternatives that you can look at. Uh, for everything related to controllers, I always install that. That allows me to use any controller I need to. And let's continue on with the display manager and I'm going to choose SSDM. Uh, it allows you the most customizability from my point of view that I've seen. And that's not going to hopefully take that much time. It's only a few files, you know, and it's downloading very quickly. So yeah, it's pretty much done. So we want to enable this and we're good to go on that side. Next, we're going to go to applications. So you got your office suits, okay? You don't need to worry about that. You got your internet, so I'm going to choose Chromium. And that's going to take a second to download. Well, that's finished. Uh, torrent, I always recommend using Cupid Torrent. Honestly, it's the best torrent that, uh, application you could ever find. So that's good. Multimedia, so GStreamer. Install what you need to from here, okay? Uh, what they already have selected is pretty good. Allows for H.264 encoding in the default GNOME uh, video player. But we're going to grab VLC. And I know I shouldn't be installing all this stuff. But you know what? Hey, we're not all, sim all simple-minded folk. All right? It ain't going to happen. Some of us actually use applications and don't survive in the terminal like a bunch of monkeys. So let's do this. We're going to install everything we need. Uh, it's probably going to download everything needed from GitHub. Good. It's probably going to compile it. Yep. And that's finished. So video player, as I said, VLC all the way. Uh, uses Vulkan by the looks of it, which is great. Makes it nice and easy to run any video. Uh, video tools, just simple weird little recorders and applications, whatever, right? This one's the most important one. This allows you to use any uh, application to install from an it's like a package manager. So you open up add and remove and you can download or install anything you really need to. OK, so we're just going to go like that. And hit enter and it will compile super quick and super fast. Add and remove means you never need to touch the terminal. OK. Well, that's what most people want, an easy, quick-to-use environment where the terminal is not in play. Uh, that application allows you to do that, all right? So don't ever fear the terminal. The terminal is not the Reaper. Uh, unless you know the commands, there's nothing you can really do to destroy your operating system. But if you do know the commands, don't ever destroy your operating system. That's just stupid, okay? Unless you have Ubuntu, then kill it and go with Arch and, or Pop! OS and you'll be way better off. So we're going to allow this to compile. All right. So I suggest only using one of those, by the way, uh, because it takes like forever to build one of the other. I don't know. So it's up to you. All right. 
Anyway, that's it for now. We got our display manager activated. We got everything else activated. You know, we need to go over here and add our account. So add user. I'm just going to put Matt. I'm going to add my password. Uh, then we're going to go with Sudoers. We're going to add ourselves. And that's done. And honestly, that's it. And I know I didn't install it a desktop environment yet, but hey, we're getting there, right? So here we go. This is the next part. I want to show you how to get some of, this, some of this stuff. So we're going to need our 31 gig drive, which is NVMe 0N1P4. All right. So mount. I want to teach you a little bit here. Slash dev slash NVMe 0N1P4. All right. And you want that in there. So next we're going to do arch truth. Sorry, my phone went off. Arch truth slash mount. And that's it. All right. We're back in to installing stuff. So first off, pacman dash S. It's a capital S, by the way. I'm going to do get C make. You might want all this. Make. Uh, what else do we need? Most people use Discord. Most people use Lit Lutris, right? We're going to want Steam. Uh, we're going to want GNOME. You can install KDE, do whatever you want. The desktop environment I recommend most if you're using NVIDIA will always be GNOME because it has the least issues. Then from the AUR, you can go and install what's called Mutter Performance and GNOME Shell Performance. Those will give you support for 144 hertz refresh rate or higher. So those are cool. And I believe this is it. We're just going to keep hitting enter, enter. Yes. Look how, look at all this. This is going to take a while. So I'll be back when it's finished and we can reboot into the desktop environment. Woo wee. All right. So uh, let's do an exit and a reboot. An exit. There are no jobs to stop, really. Uh. Thank you. What was I typing before? And uh, a reboot. And it will reboot into the distro here real quick. Yep, arch, good. Hit enter. And we're finished. This is awesome. And don't let it ever boot into GNOME Classic, please. Just go boot into GNOME. And it's done. All right, guys, and that's it. We've gotten into the desktop. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. From here on in, uh, there's going to be a part two to show you how to get the things you want to get if I haven't showed you how to get it already. And I will see you guys next time.